Look, we had a million things we were going to talk about, and we we're just going to punt on them all. And I ask you, with the best seat in the house, what, what you made of what Mahomes and the Chiefs were able to do down 10 in the fourth quarter. Well, for me, Scott, it's one of the things that we wanted to see from young Patrick Mahomes. We understand that they've been great front runners. They've scored touchdowns in the first three games on the first drive. But can he handle the adversity of mile high? And he showed us tonight, down 10 in the second half, his ability to make improvisational throws on the run, throwing with his left hand, his ability to put this team on his back. That's what everyone around the country wanted to see. And we saw it in the fourth quarter. Andy Reid told us this weekend, He's as closest thing to Brett Favre as, as he's seen with his playmaking ability. And he showed the entire country tonight. Showtime Mahomes is for real. Now, Tim Hasselbeck's going to be by in a minute. And he, he, he like you, you, look, you resist the idea of Favre because that's, that's a, the F word, that's, that's a comparison that's really, really tough to make. But he certainly showed all of those attributes, the gunslinger's mentality. I want to ask you, though, Booger, about that final play because it seemed like if I was hearing you right, you didn't love the call. I thought it was going to work. And it almost did. What did you make of what Denver attempted to do after they almost got a touchdown on third down? Well, I understand what Denver is doing. The clock is going against him. So they're saying, you know what, let's try to win it on this one play. The problem is, if you're sitting there, when you catch that ball and there's a defender on you, you got to go down and try to get up and clock it. He tried to hook in lateral, and the, and the ball hit the ground, and they called it an incomplete pass. I understand the aggressive nature by Denver. I, I, I just didn't like the execution there by Sutton once he caught it. He hits the ground, though. I'm looking at the clock. I don't know that they've got the time to get to the line of scrimmage and clock it. And I get at this point, it's a wing and a prayer regardless. But I don't know that they could have clocked it at that point, Bugger. Well, it's 12 seconds left. And so I, I would have rather take that play and see if I can get up to the line of scrimmage and clock it in 12 seconds rather than to go to an incomplete pass because the incomplete pass, the game is over. So I'm trying to give them another opportunity to know that they can move on and run another play to try to win the football game. So you're right. It would have been tight, but I think they could have got it done with maybe one second left, Scotty. Understood. Travel safely to New Orleans. Drew Brees going for history. If you don't get some crawfish etouffee and, and tell me how it tastes at Mother's, I'll be disappointed. Come on, baby. Mothers, emeralds, here comes Book Nation, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. It's a home game. You enjoy. Be good, man. Always, buddy.